You have got to be kidding me here. If you're De'Aaron Fox, could you please not stare at the ball? You're guarding Steph Curry, the best shooter of all time. Could we see the ball and Steph Curry? Could we get our feet set? See, look at De'Aaron Fox. You have no idea what's going on with Steph Curry, so you're going this way. He's about to fly off of a handoff. That is pathetic. This is the problem with picking up Steph Curry full court and also gambling and backpedaling. So because you're picking up Steph Curry at full court and you just gambled there horrifically, now look what happens. It's going to take you five days to get over this screen right here. So look at this. I mean, Terrence Davis is nowhere to be found on this handoff. So Trey Lyles has to switch early, which means he's going to have to lunge out to contest. So it's just a rip through and go drive to the 10. Okay, so do the Kings defend this down screen the right way? Uh, no, absolutely not. But they do end up switching. It's late, but it happens. So Sabonis is on Jordan Poole right now, and Malik Monk's taking Draymond Green. What is Terrence Davis doing? Stay with Steph Curry. He's about to drop 50 on you, and you're not even paying attention. How is this happening? Stop gambling on Steph Curry. Look at Terrence Davis. He's got one of the best handles in the history of the NBA. Just stay in front. Look at Terrence Davis right here. Look at that gamble right there. Whoopsies, you just got cooked. More points for Steph. Terrible switch. If Keegan Murray's switching the screen, what is he doing? Why is he over here? You hear, Draymond Green is twisting to set another screen right here. And you're supposed to switch. And you're nowhere to be found. So now you're off balance getting to Steph Curry. You're still not there. You're off balance. Good night. Next possession. Okay, this one's on Trey Lyles. Come, I'm sorry, Steph Curry coming off of a handoff, you got to drop high. Okay, if your feet are set, you're in a defensive stance, you'll be able to stunt at the ball and recover. What is Trey Lyles doing? So you're just going to let Steph Curry get this handoff and have him take a warm-up three. This is a deplorable switch by Harrison Barnes. First of all, it's Steph Curry. When Steph Curry comes off of the screen, you need to be in a defensive stance with your feet set, ready to guard, and up. Look at Harrison Barnes, not even sort of. And then you're going to top it off by gambling. Look at Harrison Barnes' gamble right there. Get off me. Three points, next possession. How many down screens are the Kings going to decide just not to defend at all? What is De'Aaron Fox doing? Andrew Wiggins is setting a down screen. That's who you're guarding. You're either up and switching, probably what you do, or you're up and your arms are out so Steph Curry can't curl right off this. He has to go out and Terrence Davis has time to get over the screen. You give Terrence Davis zero time to get over the screen. Look at this. How is he going to guard Steph Curry one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, he's a little off balance. Bucket plus one. This is game seven of the playoffs. The Kings haven't been in the playoffs in two decades. There's not one single Kings player boxing out here. Not one. So where do you think this loose ball is going? Okay, does anyone want to box out now? Okay, we still don't. Yeah, go home. Just go home. I'm glad this series ended like this. I don't know how this is possible. Keegan Murray is giving Steph Curry the lane here. So you know Steph Curry's coming here. Trey Lyles has to beat Steph Curry to the spot. Has to. And you know he's coming there. So Trey Lyles would step up. De'Aaron Fox would have to rotate down. And then if the ball gets kicked here, you'd rotate here. And this is where Keegan Murray would end up. But you know Steph Curry's coming there. Where's the help? Another awful switch onto Steph Curry. How is that even possible? He's dropping 50 on you. Get up. Feet set. Defensive stance. So I can slide my feet when Steph Curry comes off the screen and I'm switching onto him. Look at Trey Lyles. Not even sort of. This isn't a defensive stance. Your feet are not set. You could literally pull someone from the stands and they'd have the same chance of guarding Steph Curry. I mean, you're literally wearing figure skates. Now look at this. Now your feet aren't level to each other. So if Steph Curry comes back this way, you have no chance of sliding your feet. You're going to have to twist your whole body around so that easily gets you in the air and he dusts you. My goodness, did the Kings deserve to lose in the first round. Why are These switches. How is this happening? Malik Monk, up. Be ready to switch on Steph Curry. Look at this. Where's Monk? You're switching. <laughs> Where are you? You're not ready to guard. Again. Okay, Harrison Barnes is showing right here off of a cross screen, okay? So when that ends, so right now Malik Monk's back and he can leave. He's got to sprint up to Draymond Green. You know they loved running handoffs with Draymond Green and Steph Curry. You have to sprint. How? Look at this laziness. Laziness. La so now you're going to get hit with a cross screen. If you had sprinted and gotten up, now you can switch, drop coverage, whatever you want to run. But Harrison Barnes is nowhere to be found. What is he doing? This is a layup line. This is pathetic. Go home!
It is beyond comprehension that the Kings are still ignoring Steph Curry. Look at Terrence Davis. You're ignoring Steph Curry. You're staring at the ball. Why? So now your feet aren't going to be set. You're not going to be a defensive stance. And you have no idea what Steph Curry's doing. You're not looking at him. I'm looking at him. You're not. So Steph Curry's about to fly this way. Look at this. So now he's going to get you leaning this way. And he can just reverse course go this way. And you're off balance. You just got cooked. Good night. We'll see you in the fall. It is really good to know that the Kings will have all offseason to work on switching because they're going to need every last day of it. So Keegan Murray, all right, you're switching on to Steph Curry, who's working on a 50-piece. Get up, feet set, defensive stance. I am ready to guard Steph Curry the second he comes off of this screen. Look at Keegan Murray, not in a defensive stance. Feet moving. You're off balance. Enjoy the offseason. I mean, what is De'Aaron Fox doing? You're guarding Steph Curry here. Why does that stop? Up with Steph Curry. What? 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 So, pfft, Steph Curry catches his ball. Keegan Murray has to switch on to him for absolutely no reason. So, what was that? Falling asleep on Steph Curry again. Unbelievable, right? You're De'Aaron Fox. Steph Curry is inbounding the ball. You know Steph Curry is one of the greatest off-ball motion offensive players in the history of the NBA. Why are you ignore? Look at this. Look at how long you're just staring away from the ball. Stare you have no idea. Steph Curry's going to inbound this and be wide open. Go home. This is probably the worst full-court trap in the history of the NBA. Not surprising because the Kings are complete garbage. Uh, De'Aaron Fox and Kevin Herter need to trap here. That means Steph Curry doesn't split through. You close that area off. Oh, yes, and DeMontez Sabonis can't be guarding air and standing in the middle of nowhere. Over and rotate to Klay Thompson. You're worried about players two passes away. Malik Monk is back and guarding Andrew Wiggins. There's nothing to worry about there. So Sabonis just stands guarding ghosts. And how easy is this for Steph Curry to split through? Nice trap. I mean, pfft, this is like a drill in practice.